Today, we're delving into the mysterious world of the Denisovan, an ancient group of humans who once roamed the Earth alongside Neanderthals and our own Homo sapiens ancestors. Picture this, it's Siberia, in the Altai Mountains, where a cave holds the secrets of our ancient relatives. This cave, known as Denisova Cave, has been a treasure trove for archaeologists, yielding fossil remains that paint a fascinating picture of Denisovan life. Now, these Denisovan weren't just hanging out in Siberia for a brief moment. Nope, they were there for the long haul, calling the Altai region home for well over 100,000 years. That's a seriously long time. Inside the cave, researchers have uncovered bones belonging to not just one or two, but four different Denisovan individuals. And get this, they even found a bone fragment from a lady who had a Neanderthal mom and a Denisovan dad. Talk about a mixed heritage. But here's where it gets really mind-blowing. These Denisovan weren't just chilling in Siberia. Nope, they were travelers, mingling with Neanderthals and even other mysterious human-like groups. DNA evidence suggests they hooked up not only with Neanderthals, but also with some ancient human ancestors of people living in places like Southeast Asia and Oceania today. That's some serious intercontinental mingling. So, remember Denisova Cave, our hotspot of ancient human activity in the Altai Mountains? Well, it turns out this place is like a time capsule, holding clues to the lives of not just one, but several ancient human groups. Back in the 1970s, scientists started poking around the cave and found some pretty cool stuff. They dug up artifacts from different periods in time, suggesting that Neanderthals and Homo sapiens might have swung by at some point. But the real jaw-dropper came in 2008, when they stumbled upon a finger bone belonging to a young female. When they managed to extract DNA from it, they realized they had stumbled upon a whole new kind of human, the Denisovan. This discovery opened up a whole new chapter in our understanding of human evolution. Since then, more bones have been found, including teeth and even a jawbone. And get this, some of these bones belong to individuals who had mixed heritage, with one Neanderthal parent and one Denisovan parent. Talk about a blended family, but it doesn't stop there. The cave also holds clues to the presence of Neanderthals, with bones and artifacts suggesting they too called this place home at various points in time. Now, here's where things get really interesting. Among the artifacts found in the cave are some fancy tooth pendants and bone points that seem to have a Homo sapiens vibe to them. But here's the twist, no actual Homo sapiens bones have been found in the cave, yet. But don't worry, the story doesn't end there. The cave's occupation stretches from around 300,000 years ago to about 20,000 years ago, with evidence of a rich Upper Paleolithic culture. And get this, scientists have even managed to extract DNA from sediments in the cave, painting a picture of who lived there and when, even when bones aren't around to tell the tale. So, let's dig a little deeper into the fascinating world of the Denisovan. Despite the fact that we don't have a ton of material to work with, thanks to the magic of archaeology and science, we're starting to piece together some key details about these mysterious ancient humans. Now, when it comes to their looks, we can't exactly create a Denisovan portrait just yet. But what we do know is that they had some seriously big and robust teeth. I'm talking teeth that would make even a Neanderthal jealous. These massive chompers are more reminiscent of our older hominin relatives like Homo erectus and the Australopithecines than they are of us modern humans. But it's not just their teeth that give us clues about what Denisovan might have looked like. DNA analysis suggests they probably had brown eyes, dark skin, and brown hair. Though, considering they likely roamed far and wide, there might have been some variety in their appearance across different regions. Now, when it comes to their skills, particularly toolmaking, things get a bit murkier. We're still trying to figure out just how skilled they were in this department. Most of what we know about Denisovan comes from genetic studies, which tell us some pretty cool stuff. For instance, despite all the fossils we found being from one spot, it seems Denisovan were a pretty diverse bunch, similar to the Neanderthals. And get this, they might have been even more diverse than we initially thought if we can find more fossils scattered across their potential range. Genetic analysis also sheds light on our evolutionary connection with Denisovan and Neanderthals. It turns out, we're all distant cousins. The split between our Homo sapiens ancestors and the Neanderthal Denisovan branch happened a long time ago, around 765,000 to 550,000 years ago. But our ties with these ancient groups run deep, 
and there's still so much more to uncover about our shared history, and the story of our ancient ancestors just keeps getting more fascinating doesn't it? We used to think of human evolution as a straight line, with one species evolving into the next, but now, thanks to discoveries like the Denisovan, we're realizing it's more like a complex web of connections. Picture it like this, imagine a river delta, with streams weaving in and out, connecting and disconnecting. Different groups of humans met and mingled, exchanging genes all over the place. It's like a genetic melting pot. The Denisovan have been instrumental in reshaping our understanding of human evolution. We already knew about the gene flow between Neanderthals and our own Homo sapiens ancestors, but now we've discovered that Neanderthals also interbred with Denisovan, and even an unknown archaic human group contributed to the Denisovan gene pool. And get this around 44,000 to 54,000 years ago, Denisovan also hooked up with the ancestors of present-day Melanesians, leaving a lasting genetic legacy in their DNA. This suggests that Denisovan were far more widespread than we initially thought, maybe even surviving in other regions besides the Altai Mountains. But the story doesn't end there. When our Homo sapiens ancestors started spreading across Eurasia, they benefited from these ancient connections. They gained useful genes for adapting to new environments and even got a boost to their immune systems thanks to the genetic exchange with Neanderthals and Denisovan. However, it wasn't all smooth sailing. Some Denisovan genes turned out to be harmful, and there's evidence that male offspring from mixed relationships might have been sterile. It seems that while these ancient humans were similar enough to interbreed, they were also different enough to cause some biological challenges. Looking ahead, the future of Denisovan research is exciting. By uncovering more fossils and artifacts, we can paint a clearer picture of who these ancient humans were and what their lives were like. So here's to more discoveries and filling in the gaps of our past.